strike. So now, when it's up there, you don't want to take the chance on taking it. Here comes Cabrera, and he scores! He, he didn't even catch the ball, and Gibson threw called him out. Then here comes Venable, he scores! What in the world is Gibson? He called Cabrera out on a ball that went all the way to the screen. That is one of the most abominable calls I've ever seen with a game on the line. Cabrera shocks the entire ball yard by stealing home. The throw goes all the way to the screen. Gibson calls Cabrera out. Look at this. This is incredible. He calls him out. Look at this. Called him out. What in the world is he seeing? Now he said, oh, I guess he saved the balls back there. And then Venable alertly comes in to score the second. The attack on offense is, is a great thing. Alex runs, and now he's going to get in a run down. Escobar, come on. Boy, Alex wow. is doing his part, and now Escobar caught <laughs> in between third and home. And did he get around the tag? He did! Just the way they practice it before the game tonight. <laughs> That's just how you write it up. How about that? Alex Gordon, he took off almost like it was planned, but with one out, usually you do a play like that with two outs. You get that a schoolyard game of pickle. It was, and, and, and it was the finest job of staying in a rundown I've seen all year. Both guys, look at Escobar, gave him a move. I mean, there's some running backs in the NFL that would love that move. He just tricked Gomes, and his jock is hanging. Beautiful move right there. He missed him with the tag. Great call by the umpire, and they scored a run, and the crowd loves it here. They want a curtain call from Escobar. <laughs> when was the last time? Brown here gets behind their Orioles. And here comes Villar to the plate. He has it. And he stole it home plate. <laughs> How about Jonathan Caught Villar? Sleeping. That was awesome. I couldn't believe it. I saw it out of the corner of my eye. Jonathan Yard taking it off for home plate, and I kept expecting him to stop. But he just kept going. This is a rookie against the left-handed pitcher who has his back to the runner at third. He took advantage of the situation, and you got to love the excitement that kid brings to the ballpark. Wow. Base runners remain at first and second, and this ball got by Weeders a bit. Surprising that Altuve didn't somehow start coming toward third. He's coming home. He's safe. <laughs> you sure this kid's 19? If I'm Cole Hamels here, I throw over to first. Just, they're going to play on the on the momentum here. Well, and the whole key is you have a left-handed throwing first baseman. He has to make that. Foul territory. And here comes the third stealing home. He's done it. And he is safe. He stole home. 3-1 Boston. He stole home. With Cody Ellsbury, stole home. And the other runners moved up on a triple steal. A standing hole for Ellsbury, who stole second earlier, now he steals home. Andy was in the stretch and didn't hear or see him, and he threw home late, and Ellsbury, in fact, stole home. Can you believe it? It was a curveball. Pizzotta took it behind the plate, tried to tag him, but he beat him with a hit first time. A curtain call for steal home. A straight steal of home. A rarity in Red Sox annals. I can't remember off the top of my head who it was, but a year or two ago, somebody stole home against Pet.